all the things mentioned in the videos that turn people off math were not to do with math itself, but the way it is taught, particularly in the US. People talked about it being monotonous and too abstract and not linked to life, something you couldn't even have feelings about. Those are the reflections of people who are introduced to math in the wrong ways. Many of them did say, though, that now that they were adults, they liked it. You may be unfortunate in classrooms that offer math as a dry, monotonous subject, or you may be fortunate and in classrooms where math is shown as a living, breathing subject with lots of ways to access it. But whichever you're in, this course will help you as it'll show you the real nature of math, not the boring, dry version often presented in textbooks, but living, breathing math that is all around us in the world, the math that you can have a positive relationship with. First of all, we're going to smash a couple of myths that have been around for a long time may have damaged your learning at some point and are completely wrong. The first myth that's everywhere and is really damaging is the idea that only some people can be good at math or that some people have a gift for math and some don't. And that idea is everywhere. It's in TV shows and sadly it's in schools as well. You may have been told or led to believe that some people are math people and some aren't or that math isn't for you. Well, it turns out that's not true. Everyone is born with the innate ability to do well in math and whether you do well or not comes from the experiences you've had and the beliefs that you hold. Everyone can do really well in math. There may be some people, you know, who seem naturally good at math or just love it when you don't. But that has come about because of experiences they have had. Anyone can get to the highest level of math in school. There is no such thing as a math person or the idea that some people are math people. Everyone is a math person. Let's look at the brain evidence. Scientists now know that experiences grow your brain and the brain is so plastic that it can rewire itself and grow in a really short space of time. This is how learning works. When you learn something, a synapse fires in your brain. It's like an electric current. And the pathways formed by the synapse are like water in the sand. The more you return to an idea, the stronger the pathway gets. If you don't go back to it, it will wash away. When you learn something, your brain grows, and if you learn it deeply, it grows and stays. So you may think some people are just brainy or smart because they just are, but it all comes from what they've learned. And you, you can, can catch up, up to them. them. When you learn, synapses fire. And this doesn't just happen when you're in a class. It can happen when you read, when you build something, when you have a conversation, when you get an idea, and when you make a mistake. Synapses are firing in your brain every day. The brain is like a muscle. The more you work the muscle, the more it grows, just like in the gym. If weightlifters exercise with the same size weights, they wouldn't grow muscles, and they have to keep increasing the weights. It's the same with math. The harder you think, the more you struggle with an idea, the more your brain grows. What was a really important message you've just heard? You can choose as many as you like from this list. 